anyone who has never made a mistake has never tried anything new. So let's learn and enjoy mathematics. Our lesson is about solve and interpret measures of position and group data. Let us compare first the percentile and then the decile. So this is the percentile and while here that is the decile. So let us compare that the starting that is 0% and then percentile 10 and then decile 1 that is equal that is 10%. Percentile 20 and decile 2 that is also equal that is 20%. Percentile 30 and decile 3 that is 30% that is also equal. Percentile 40 and decile 4 that is equal to 40%. So percentile 40 and decile 4 are equal. Percentile 50 and decile 5 that is also equal that is 50%. Percentile 60 and decile 6, that is also equal, that is 60%. Percentile 70 and decile 7, that is also equal, that is 70%. Percentile 80 and decile 8, that is also equal, that is 80%. Percentile 90 and decile 9, that is 90%, that is also equal. And this one, that is 100%. So let us compare the percentile and decile. So this is the percentile and decile to quartile. So this is the starting that is 0%. So the quartile 1, the quartile 2, and then the quartile 3. The quartile 1 that is also equal to percentile 25. So percentile 25 and quartile 1 that is equal to 25% or percentile 25, or the lower quartile that is equal to 25%. How about the quartile 2? The quartile 2, the P sub 50, and then the decile 5 that is equal, that is equal to 50%. How about the quartile 3, or the upper quartile? The upper quartile, or the P sub 75, this is the P sub 75, that is equal, that is equal to 75%. And then this one, that is 100%. In problem number one, Noheli says the mathematics test is so difficult. There were 100 test takers, including her. Her score is 15 out of 20. So this is 15 out of 20. Her score belongs to the third quartile, so 15 is on the third quartile or the quartile 3. So that is 75%. Would you agree with Noheli that the test is it so difficult? No, because the quartile 3 or the 15 score of Noheli is in 75%. So it means the test is not difficult. How about problem number 2? Your best friend, who is a 15-year-old grade 10 student, believed that she is generally young for her grade level. Upon gathering of data, it has been found that the first quartile is 16 years old. So this is the quartile 1 or the first quartile that is 16 years old. Question, what percentage of the students have ages 16 and below? So this is 16 and below. So that is 25%. How about this question? What percentage of the students have ages 16 and above? So this is 16 and above, so the answer is 75%. Would you agree with your best friend believe that she is generally young for her grade level? So this is 16 years old. 16 years old and below, that is 16 and then 15. Okay, yes, because... 
Quartile 1, 16 years old, is in a quartile 1, that is 25%. So it means 15 years old is less than 25%. So that is yes. In example number three, Cherry is a teacher in public school in Metro Manila. Her salary is in the 8th decile. So this is 8th decile or the decile 8 that is 80%. Should Cherry be glad about his salary or not? Let us explain your answer. So 80% of the employees receive a salary. So this is 80% of the employees receive a salary that is less than or equal to his salary. And then 20%, so this is 20% of the employees receive a salary that is greater than his salary. So Sherry should be pleased with her salary because that is 80%. In example number four, Mrs. Salmarin gave a test to her students in English. The students finished their test in 35 minutes. This time is the 30th percentile of the allotted time. So this is the 30th percentile of the allotted time. What does this mean? So this is the percentile 30 or the 30th percentile that is 30% that the students finish their test in 35 minutes or less. So how we interpret this one? So it means this 30th percentile or the 30% of the learners finish their test in 35 minutes or less. A low percentage, so 30% is a low percentage, is considered good because it means the students finish the test in a short period of time. In example number one, the weight in kilograms of 15 students was measured as follows. So the question, how we interpret the 70% of the students are lighter weight? So let us arrange this number into ascending order. So first, that is 40, 43, 44, 45, 48. Next is 50, and then 52, 54, another 54, 55, another 55, 57, 59, 60, and then 61. So let us compute now the 70% of the students that are lighter weight. So we compute by using the formula for the percentile. First percentile class, it is equal to K times N plus 1 over 100. The value for K, that is 70. So P sub 70 class, it is equal to 70. And then the N, that is 15 students plus 1 over 100. So copy 70, 15 plus 1 is 16 over 100. If we multiply 70 times 16, the answer is 1,120 divided by 100. 1,120 divided by 100, the answer is equal to 11.28. So it means 11.28 is between 11, position 11, and then 12. So let us compute now the P sub 70. So that is equal to 11th 11th position plus the decimal point, point 20, so 0 0.20, multiply it with the position 11th and 12th. So first, 12 minus 11. So the 11th position, that is 55, copy 0 0.20. The 12th position is 57 minus the 11th position, that is 55. So copy 55 plus 0 0.20, 57 minus 55, the answer is equal to 2. P sub 70, it is equal to 55. 0 0.20 times 2, the answer is 0 0.40. If we add P sub 70 or the person times 70, that is equal to 55.40. So how we interpret the 70% of the students are lighter weight? So it means... 70% of the students are lighter than or equal to 55.40. Same given in problem number one, and then the weight is arranged in ascending order. Question, what is the weight of the sixth decile? The formula for the decile, that is the sub k class, it is equal to k times n plus 1 over 10. The value for k that is equal to 6, let us replace and then the value of n that is equal to 15. Let us replace plus 1 over 10. 
So this is a 6 class. It is equal to copy 6. 15 plus 1, that is 16 over 10. If we multiply 6 times 16, the answer is 96 divided by 10. If we divide the this is 6 class, it is equal to 9.6. So it means 9.6 is on the position 9th and then 10. So this is 9 and then 10. Let us continue to solve to identify the D cell 6. So using the linear interpolation. So copy 9. So 9 position plus the decimal point 0 0.6 and then the position 9 and then 10. We first write 10. So 10 minus 9. Let us replace the 9. The 9th is 54. Let us copy. Let us copy 0 0.6. The 10th, that is 55, minus the 9th, that is 54. So 55 minus 54, copy, copy, and then 55 minus 54, the answer is equal to 1. So 0 0.6 times 1, that is equal to 0 0.6, and then copy 54. If we add 54 plus 0 0.6, the answer is equal to 54.6. Or in the two decimal places, that is 54.60. So how we interpret our answer, D cell 6 is equal to 54.60. It means 60% of the weight of the 15 students are less than or equal to 54.60. Same given, how about if the problem is what weight? is at the upper quartile. Upper quartile is quartile 3 or Q sub 3. The formula, Q sub K class, it is equal to K times N plus 1 over 4. The value for K that is in the upper quartile, that is equal to 3. Replace it with 3 and then 3. And then N, if we count, that is equal to 15. So let us continue to solve. Copy 3. 15 plus 1 is 16 divided by if we multiply 3 times 16, the answer is equal to 48 divided by 4. 48 divided by 4, the answer is equal to 12. So it means Q sub 3 is in the 12th position. The 12th position that is equal to 57. So it means Q sub 3 that is equal to 57. So how we interpret if the upper quartile that is equal to 57? So it means 75% of the weight of the 15 students is less than or equal to 57. How about problem number 4? Find how many percent of the weight have less than or equal to 59. So is this is 59. So that is in the 13 out of 15 students. So let us identify the formula. Percentile of x is equal to the number of values below x over n times 100. So the percentile, the number of values below x. So this is considered as x. The number of values below x, if we count, that is equal to 12. So percentile, that is equal to 12 over the n, that is the number of students, that is equal to 15. Multiply it with 100. If we divide 12 divided by 15, the answer is 0 0.8. If we multiply it with 100, that is equal to 80. Percentile 80 or the percentile percent, that is 80%. So it means 80% of the weight of the 15 students is less than or equal to 59. So how about if that is greater than? So 100 minus 80, that is 20% of the weight of the 15 students is greater than or equal to 59. Let us recap what you have learned about measures of position of the percentile, decile, and quartile The percentile is divided from 100. We have 0 up to 100%. If we compare the percentile and decile, the equivalent decile 1 and P sub 10, 10%, and then decile 2, P sub 20, that is 20%, decile 3, P sub 30, that is 30%, decile 4, P sub 40, that is 40%, decile 5, P sub 50, that is 
decimal 6, P sub 60, that is 60%. Decimal 7, P sub 70, that is 70%. Decimal 8, percentile 80, that is 80%. Decimal 9, P sub 90, that is 90%. Let us compare the percentile and the decimal to quartile. The quartile 2, the decimal 5, and the P sub 50, that is all equal to 50%. The Q sub 3, or the upper quartile, that is equal to 75%. The Q sub 3 and the P sub 75, or the percentile 75, is equal to 75%. The lower quartile, or the Q sub 1, that is 25%. The Q sub 1 and the P sub 25, that is equal to 25%. Instruction, solve the following and interpret the results. Provide your answers in the comment section. Enjoy learning mathematics. I'm Teresa Tubal. Thank you so much.